Hello, everyone. We are back with the second part of the series. Uh, I was thinking about it, and I'm probably going to implement a cheesy strategy to let me use my pieces that I might have lost. Uh, the original rules of this game is that if you lose a piece, the next mission you can't use that piece, but the next one after that you can. So basically, you uh, if you lose a piece, you just can't use it in the next duel. But there is a way to get around that, and I'll show you how. So our next fight's gonna be Tristan, and he's a, a wood specialty, which is a little bit annoying. I think he also has some thunder guys. I love the music in this game. I also love the boards in this game. They're so cool looking. Ta-da! It's me, the man, the legend, Tristan Taylor. Yugi, I may not be as experienced as you when it comes to games, but if you take me lightly, I'm gonna make you pay. I know. That's why I'm going to use all my skills to defeat you. No matter who my opponent is, I will use all my... That is my proof as a true duelist. Oh, um, maybe you don't need to use all your skills. You know, maybe just some. Yo, let's go. I think eight's the highest number you can get there. Let's just attack first. Oh wait, it doesn't even matter because I'm gonna be doing the uh, strategy I mentioned earlier. So yeah, half of his stuff is wood and half of his stuff is electric. And this is supposed to show you that like, even though they're element specific people, they, uh, they could still have different elements as well so as you can see i lost both steel scorpion and kami knock i'm just gonna say kami i already said that before i guess you could say kami now yeah i guess that would make sense but uh because i lost them and i really want to level up steel scorpion for a fusion down the line that is pretty cool uh they might not even be that useful i think i'm gonna use petite moth too because he can also he doesn't fuse, he uh, evolves. It's probably what I'm gonna do. But anyway, what you can do, if you're, uh, it doesn't really matter what I bring. And I, I'm just showing this to you guys uh, once. I'm not gonna be recording this every time. So like, if I lose a piece in one of these duels, just assume that I did this already. So what you could do... You just surrender. <laughs> and that counts as another duel. I know it's uh, pretty stupid. But it lets you use the pieces that you already lost because technically that counts as a duel. And it's gonna play. Oh, it's not gonna play the whole cutscene. Hopefully, we can go first again. But, uh. Every time, I'm probably gonna be doing that. It doesn't really take that long either. And let's see if it works. Oh, it seems like we're. Okay, I thought. Oh, also, fun fact. You see that the side that he started on? The, if you start second, you actually go to that side. So that's another big element of uh, maybe you want to go on his side. And yep, as you can see, Steel Scorpion is back, and so was Kami, Kamina. We're going to use Petite Moth. Who else do we want to use? I think we want to use one of our fire guys. We can't use Shovel Crusher, which would be pretty good. Maybe we should use... Yeah, we're going to use Shovel Crusher instead of Kamina. 
Uh, let's see. It's a pretty good lineup so far. We have 60 left. So let's just use another Fire Reaper. It'll make the left side easier. You're going to see what I mean. So uh, we're already at the advantage because we have five versus his four. Yeah, let's just put this guy right here. So an important aspect of this duel is that there's electric terrain on the right, and this will damage anything that's not thunder. And then there's poison, which will hurt everything that's not wood on the left. And that's what Tristan's going to utilize too, so that's why I brought in certain pieces. Uh, we'll probably send our electric guys to the right. Shuffle Crusher's pretty good because he has good movement and attack. And the Fire Reapers are just going to go to the left, because that's where his, uh, Tristan's wood guys are going to go to. Maybe I could have positioned better, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. This fight's going to be pretty easy. I don't want to lose any pieces, because uh, it's kind of annoying doing the whole surrender it's thing. Time to start. So I think... We're going to start off by using our electric guys, because it's going to take longer to get to the right compared to just going straight. And let's go ahead and get our Petite Moth to, I think. I want to get him to level 3. Because at level 3 he can evolve. I'll show you guys how to do that too. At least, if I can. What were the rules of this game again? <laughs> In classic Tristan fashion, he uh, kind of sucks. So I'm probably going to be weakening these guys with the Fire Reapers, because I don't plan on using the Fire Reapers super long in this game. Alright. So... I think I'm going to... I think I'm just going to go ahead and open up all my monsters. Probably the best play. Alright, and yeah, definitely going to move the Shovel Crusher towards this. Do the same with the Steel Scorpion. Alright, let's see what he does. He's probably going to move his, yeah, I, I would think that he's going to, I mean, he's probably going to move all of his pieces, but we're not going to be that worried. Oh, yeah, he has a three movement, yeah. I don't want to move that. Okay, so now that we've opened up everything, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the Fire Reapers outside of the poison and let his pieces move up. And we're going to let our Petite Moth get the kill. But on the right side, we're probably just going to push in because we're at the advantage here. Let's see, what level are his pieces? So level 1, level 1, level 1, level 1. Yeah, okay. It's not that big of a deal. The Shovel Crusher is going to be a little bit ahead of us, so that's fine. I don't know why the music's so scary here. Okay. Um... So, this Kami guy, he can only move diagonal, right? Yeah, so he can only move here, and he can attack two spaces, so one, wait, is that the diagonal? It is. So, one, 
too. Yeah, he can't even attack there. I wonder if he will. And this guy can move forward to attack that. I think we're fine where we're at. I'm going to move the Steel Scorpion up, though. And over here, I'm going to put you up. I'm going to put you up as well. I want to put him, like, right here so we don't have to waste a turn. I think that's pretty good. We're just going to end the turn there. I'm trying to get as much advantage as possible whenever he pushes in. Alright, that worked out pretty good. So, let's see. We can't get an attack with him. Let's see, so if he goes diagonal one, he can attack. Right? Maybe not, actually. No, he can't. What about two? No. And this guy can only go straight. So we're just fine. Yeah, this is a free attack. Let's just uh, go point blank, I guess. We haven't seen Shovel Crusher's attack. Oh my god, he just one-shot this guy? That's crazy. Uh, we're going to see his attack. We haven't seen it yet. That Kami guy is disgusting looking. Ugh. That was an easy one shot, though. Alright. And he can move up to. Yeah, we're fine. And we're just gonna keep these guys positioned like this. Yeah, because that's poison right there, and I don't really want to get my pieces hurt by it. I'd rather him push up. Let's see what happens though. I'm not Hmm. He might be pushing his pieces up to the right, which is kind of annoying. I wonder if Silver Crusher just kills this guy. He does. Um, do I want him to do that though? Because I want to give experience to Metal Scorpion. Let's see, so he's going to be able to move right here and attack twice? Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is put my piece... See, if I go here, then I can attack like that next turn. Yeah. But Shovel Crusher's going to get hit. Hmm. Let's move back to... So he's going to move up, up. Can you do anything if I go here? Or here? No, you can't do anything if I move here, I think. Okay. It's fine by me gonna push up right here and I'm just gonna end my turn. I don't want to put my fire guys inside the poison. Okay, yeah, this is working out for us. Okay, he's pushing back, which is a little bit annoying. 
So I really want to get the kill of Steel Scorpion. I think we're just going to push forward then, since he's doing that. Let's see, how much do you do? You don't kill, and you might get killed by them. So let's go back one. Put you here, and you here. This is a pretty easy duel. As the game goes on, the duels are going to get harder. I'm just trying to optimize the experience that I'm getting. Okay. Hopefully our Metal Scorpion can just one-shot this guy. That'd be pretty good. And he can. We've already seen the Metal Scorpion animation, so just gonna play it out. Nice. So the Metal Scorpion needs to be level 3, and then I'm just going to stop focusing on it. Because once it fuses, it doesn't like carry over any experience or anything, so it's not that big of a deal. I think our Shovel Crusher XP is not bad. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attack with the Fire Reaper, because I don't think it's going to kill. Yeah, it's not. And then we're just going to kill with the uh, Petite Moth. Oh, come on, take it easy! We haven't seen the Petite Moth animation, so I'm gonna go ahead and play it. I always thought this thing looked disgusting. I hate bugs. Ugh. It's like a mustache. It's gross. XP in this game is kind of. Like, they don't really give you a lot. 20 per uh, monster kill? Kind of rough. I think you get most of your experience from the end of the battle. I think it gets like if you kill more things. I don't know how the experience distribution works. Yep, as you can see there, uh, every turn inside of the poison, you're going to be taking damage. Yeah, Yuki's always fighting in a disadvantage, which is kind of stupid. Like, you would think that Yugi would be able to pick a board every now and then, but nope. It's uh, the enemies only pick the boards. This game's not that fair, I guess. Even though, you know, you're fighting against somebody who doesn't even know the rules, so it's not that big of a deal. So I could, uh, what I might do is I'm going to push forward. And I think you get way more experience if you kill the symbol. So I'm going to try to do that. We're just going to see what happens. This guy, he's not going to catch up for a little bit, so we're just going to attack the symbol. No need to see the animation. Nice, 10 experience. Yep. And next turn... Oh, I could attack the Petite Moth, too. That's a little bit more experience, so we're going to do that. Two. Oh, come on, take it easy. I don't think the symbol can attack, can it? No, I can't. I don't really care if our Reaper's taking damage, to be honest. So, I'm just gonna, probably going to take a second.
So we're gonna put myself here, and I believe that's game because I'm just gonna move the shovel crusher the next turn. And there we go. That was a very, very short duel. We might do the next one in this video too. That was pretty easy. <sighs> I knew. Keep it up, Yugi. I'm counting on you. Thank you, Tristan. Yep, yeah, he gained an insane amount of experience there. That's why, uh, I don't know why you would decline a level up, but you can. That's why, uh, killing the symbol is almost always worth it. We gain 21 experience as bonus as well, not bad. Steel Scorpion's already almost at level 3, which is the point where we're just not going to focus on him anymore. And we're probably going to be focusing on Petite Moth after that. So with this, uh, it doesn't really matter who I get, so I'm probably just going to take a Steel Scorpion and Kami. Yeah, that was a pretty easy duel. I mean, Tristan doesn't even... Even in, like, the anime, he's pretty garbage. In fact, I don't even remember a duel that Tristan won. Uh, who's our next person? I think it's Taya, right? Oh, no, it's Duke. Yeah, I think Taya's after Duke. Uh, before we do this, I'm going to look at the shop just to see if there's anything I want. I think there is something I want. Let's see. What would you like to do? I'm impressed by how many voice actors they're able to get in this game. Let's see. So, Gear Golem. He could be pretty useful, but I don't know. Let me look through this list of fusions real quick. See if there's anything that I can do with Gear Golem. It doesn't seem like there is anything with Gear Golem. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, probably not that important to get then. Is there anything else I'd want? Do we have a water? Yeah, we do. We do. We don't have a fire, though. Oh, wait, nope. We have those flame reapers. We have the Karibos for dark, but... We might want to get feral imps instead. Honestly, I think we don't need anything. What would you like to do? Uh, I think we're going to do another battle. I don't think uh, Duke's going to take that long. He is mostly dark, though, which is a little bit annoying. Don't we have two Skell Angels, though? So we can probably utilize those. We just need to get one level, which is one kill with the Steel Scorpion, and then I'll be happy.
Yugi, don't forget that I invented Dungeon Dice Monsters, so I'm a game expert myself. Let's see who's the real king of games. I challenge you to a duel. I accept your challenge, Duke Devlin. When I win, all will hail the new champion. It's time to duel! God, I always thought Duke's design looked so good. There's just something about the combination of red and black that just looks so good. Alright, so he gets to choose. I don't really care which side I'm on. So, I, since I'm attacking second, I'm actually playing on his side, which is kind of interesting. This layout is kind of like a board game. Oh wait, sorry, if I pick second, I could choose which side I want to be on, which is kind of cool. You don't, you're not forced to go on his side. Uh, for this, we're definitely going to be using our Skull Angels, just because we have an advantage. We're going to be using this Shovel Crusher, because it, it's just good. Uh, and... We're going to use Petite Moth as well, and I guess we could throw in a Karibo or something? What else can I use? Uh, we have 43. We're using two of those. We can't use that. Yeah, we can only throw in a Karibo, so we're just going to do that. I doubt it's going to be any use, but you never know. And we're going to manually place... It's a pretty small board, actually. I think it would be good to place, like, here, because we can go there. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe actually place pretty far actually going here would be pretty bad actually because we can only move straight if we have a diagonal piece we should probably go that way you can go straight to I think I'm gonna put one of them over here put a shovel crusher down the middle too definitely the best place for it This isn't a bad place for the, uh... Oh, whoops. This isn't a bad place for that one. The Karibo... Uh, yeah, I guess put him here. Petite Moth. Uh, honestly, doesn't matter. So we're going to to do the Surrender Strat because I didn't lose any of my monsters. Let's see, does he have anything other than Dark? He has a couple of Electrics, too. He has a lot of pieces, actually. Uh, I highly doubt I'm going to be able to kill his simple. His uh, monsters are probably going to stop me. Tristan's is, I think, from my previous times playing this game, it's one of the easiest to kill with a symbol. His Karibos, not that important. Is there anything I can take here? Uh, only Karibos, not that good. Steel Scorpion, what's the other one? Steel Scorpion. Okay, yeah, this isn't that big of a deal. We could probably get this over with pretty fast. So, first thing we're going to do, open up the Steel Scorpion. Probably open up a steel, the Shovel Crusher, too. Can we open up a Skull Angel? Yeah, let's do that. Those are going to be coming pretty useful against the uh, Karibos. I don't know the gimmick on this board. I don't think there is one. I think it's just that some tiles have a better attribute. One of my favorite boards is going to be the... Uh, I'm not going to spoil it, actually. You, you, I'll, I'll tell you when it's my favorite board. So you got him right there. And Karibo can attack... Can move and attack... Is it straight? Yeah, you can. So, one, two. Hmm. I think we should summon our own Karibo. He can move diagonally and attack twice up. So, we're actually kind of in a bad position right there. So we just gonna not move him. Oh 
yeah, I can't move. I'm stupid. We're gonna summon all of our pieces, I think. They can't attack us yet. I think I'm also gonna put this guy right here, because nothing can attack us. And I'm just gonna keep all my pieces still. Ooh, I uh, messed up. But that should be fine. Petite Moth is still going to be alive. Ooh. Does Kribo have three movement? Am I... Did I mess up? Oh, well, we should be fine anyway. Uh, we should get through this. So these two monsters right here are pretty much dead, just because they overextended so much. So I'm going to... Let's think this through. I could attack right here, but I'm trying to get the most damage. So Steel Scorpion, 100% should get a kill. He can't kill this one, but I'm going to try to get it done. Um, I think we attack with Shovel Crusher on this one. Just so we can get the kill with Steel Scorpion. Let's see. He can move one, two, and attack diagonal. That's fine. Can he jump over this and attack diagonal? He probably can. That'd be kind of annoying. And this guy can go one, two, and attack Steel Scorpion, which would be pretty annoying. I think the play is weaken this one so that Petite Moth can get... Oh, I didn't play the animation. I'm sorry. Uh, we should be able to see the... I'm pretty sure I'm going to attack with Skull Angel again, so it should be fine. So we're going to try to get the kill with Petite Moth. Yep. We've already seen the animation of this disgusting bug. 20. Oh, whoops. Okay. Uh, can I move into a better position? Uh, well, that one will attack me if I move there. This would have been a pretty good position because I want to get damaged, but... I think I should be able to live a Karibo hit, and this will give us the level up, I believe. Hmm, 10 experience. We need to kill one more of them. Definitely gonna move this guy right here. I'm gonna put this guy up to... And I'm gonna move my symbol because I'm worried it's gonna take some damage. This is becoming a little bit worrying. He only has three pieces left though. Let's see what he does. So that's gonna hit the Karibo, which isn't that big of a deal. Kind of a bulky po- not Pokemon. Monster. It, then my and this should attack the Steel Squirt- oh, I guess he can't attack over the gap. Okay. I kind of forgot if he could or not. Alright, so... What I'm gonna do here... Okay, I can attack the Karibo right here. We're gonna see the animation because we haven't seen it yet. Oh wait, maybe we did actually. I think I used it in the Joey fight, now I think about it. Yeah, I did, actually. I remember. Yeah, I used it in the Joey fight. Um, can Steel Crusher kill this Karibo? Yeah, he can. I think I'm gonna do that, then. Okay. Uh, 
Um. So I don't really care if this Karibo dies. Can't really do anything useful with it though. This guy can move this way, attack diagonal. If I go back to. I can't hurt anybody. So it goes here, attack diagonal twice. Can't hit. Move here twice. Can't hit. Uh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. So I'm gonna move the Skull Angel just so I can get some... Yeah, I can't move there because he will attack me. I'm just gonna put him here. I don't think Fatih Moth is in danger. Yeah, if he moves up here... Okay, if he moves up here, then this guy can move down and hit Fatih Moth. So I should move Fatih Moth. Like, here... Oh, because he'll get hit there. So we're going to move him back twice. Alright, yeah, this should be fine. Yeah, this duel was really fast. I'm glad that I decided to just record this. Two fights in one part. Alright, so... What we'll do here is... Attack with Skell Angel. Finish off with Steel Scorpion. It doesn't really matter if this guy hits something. Even if he kills something, it's not going to be anything that I care about. Oh yeah, at certain levels, uh, monsters get special abilities. This is not going to be that important. Uh, because we're going to be foddering this guy off in a future, in the future. I don't even remember what it does. I wonder if I can... Ah, yeah, okay. So this one buffs the uh, ally, which is kind of cool, I guess. See, so this guy can move up, up, attack. He's probably just going to attack Steel Scorpion. If he goes here, he can not attack Skull Angel, so we're going to do that. And if he goes up, up, he can attack Karibo. Just so we don't lose anything, I'm going to put him up here. Uh, so he can't actually attack through the gaps. He probably would. Well, I can actually attack the Shovel Crusher right here. Um, I'm pretty sure we just lost Shovel Crusher though, so that's don't not very cool. sick he just chose to attack the symbol yeah I don't care then yeah and that should be the end of this duel because he only has seven HP left I don't need to give any more experience to shovel crushers so or not shovel crusher metal not metal <sighs> yeah actually I was right steel scorpion uh, I'm just going to give uh, Shovel Crusher the experience, because he's the most useful right now. Very good monster. And that was probably the easiest fight we've had so far. I mean, even Joey gave me more trouble. That was pretty good. I don't know how long that took, actually, but it felt really fast. Yugi. You're not too. I lost, but I don't regret a thing because I dueled my best. That's kind of sad. Yugi, keep at it and win the tournament. Thanks.
Damn, one experience off? I mean, we're gonna get the experience, but that's so sad. Cool. Uh, looks like it's just gonna be Shovel Crusher, though. What do I want from him? Honestly, all this stuff is garbage, so we're just gonna take the Karubo and a... I don't know, we already took a skill to work good, so whatever. Eventually, they're gonna give us good stuff, and you're gonna be seeing, obviously, boss monsters that you should be taking. Uh, after that fight, though, we are definitely gonna be ending the part, because this is probably a longer part than usual. Uh, let's go... Before I end the part, let's just see who we're gonna fight. I believe it's gonna be Taya. I believe so. It might be, uh, what's that guy's name? Oh no, it is Taya. All right. So the next fight, we're gonna be fighting Taya and uh, her board's pretty cool. Not my favorite, but it's fine. She's a pretty easy fight. Um, but, uh, we'll be saving that for the next part. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this part, make sure to leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more content, subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. See ya.